Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Season 2, Part 3, Episode 32 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. One of the last episodes that I'll film before I leave for my vacation. And one of the last ones that you'll see before I come back. Um, there may not be one on the following Friday or whatever, the, the regularly scheduled day, just because I am literally on the last day and I have to still pack and such. So if, if there's not enough videos, I'm sorry. It should have tidied you through most of the time I was gone. Uh, but anyway, here's a countdown for you. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to try and record the remaining four hours today, but we'll see. Um, something tells me that's actually impossible and not going to be a thing. So, um, Hopefully you guys can understand. I've been watching about an hour of JoJo a day for the past, like, month, so... I've also had a lot of issues with the player today, so that's, that's probably going to be a hindrance as well. Like, I like the guitar sound at this part. That, like, um... It's the same sort of guitar sound they've gotten, um... A lot of Bohemian Rhapsody songs. Like, that, like... Not distorted... Like, whatever the lead guitar is doing at that part when they're going up the stairs. That's real solid right there. That right there. That's good. I like that guitar sound. There's certain guitar sounds that I just wish I could get with my, like, setup, and that's just not one that I, like, I don't know. I don't feel like I can ever get quite what I want out of it. It's partly because the amp I have isn't that great, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, they were getting mugged, too. Okay, well, at least there's that. What the hell? <laughs> what are these kids learning? Why are you holding your watch like that? What was that about? You can put a wristwatch on your wrist. You know that, my dude, right? Like, that's the point of a wristwatch? God, I still don't like his face. Like, people are gonna be mad about that, but still. I don't care. I'm- I'm speaking truth. Yeah, just leave him. I wonder if it's an enemy stand user. Well, he does look perfectly normal, so... I don't know, he, he's probably just some dude. This scene probably doesn't matter. Just random filler crap that they threw in the episode for no reason. They don't even fight a stand user this time. Because he doesn't look like one, for sure. That's a weird, creepy question. Uh... Yep, getting some nope vibes here. Oh, he's just gonna beat up a child. Okay, that's fine. Oh, 
Also, he was not gonna punch the shit out of a kid just because his parents might be nearby. Like, he's a stand user. What's gonna stop him? And, yeah, again, look, right here, they're doing it right. Like, you've par you've spread them out. It would be better if you could have, like, one-to-one -one stand user, like, sniping. Just be like, all right, what are their stands? What are they good against? What are they bad against? What do we got under our, like, control? This, this is pretty close to the strategy I would use to take them out. It doesn't work because main character syndrome, but, like, you know, it makes sense. You, you know, you separate them. Because they like to be separated. Like, Jesus Christ, Scooby-Doo and the gang stuck together better than these guys. These guys just, they'll fuck off for no reason whatsoever. But, like, Scooby-Doo and the gang, they'll at least have a reason to do it. These guys will just be like, ah, they're late, so I don't know. They're probably fine and not being attacked by a stand user. Anyway, let's just go somewhere else. Okay, they're actually looking for them, so... <sighs> probably knock on bathroom doors before you go in them though oh my god Polnareff is actually getting suspicious he actually has a brain cell for once isn't one of the most basic forms of horror is like an animal with human face Like, you could really make Iggy be, like, a horrifying nightmare creature if you just play different music when he was on screen. Like, we got this, like, oh, ha, ha, funny time music right now. But, like, he's fucking gross looking. Don't at me. Like, that is a man's face. Like, if you just cut the eyes and nose and mouth off of that and put it on, like, I don't know, Polnareff's face, it'd still look fine. It wouldn't look that weird. No more than any other character on the show, you know? Like, that could just be some dude's face. I wonder if he's a stand user. It's impossible to tell. Polnareff, are you going to pick up on it? I wonder fucking why. Jotaro, where did you fuck off to? See, this is what I'm talking about. They're looking for, like, the other two, and then they just, like... They separate for no reason. Jotaro just kept walking. They have no spatial awareness, except for Polnareff right now realizes someone's following them. What? Does anyone remember Skip It? Skip It was... Skip It was a thing. It was essentially just a mace that you'd attach to your ankle, and you'd spin it around real fast and try not to, like, knock off your other ankle with it. It was a really bizarre 90s toy. A lot of 90s toys were weird like that. Like, Moon Shoes? I remember getting invited to a party where there were moon shoes, but then they were like, Hey, I've, I I don't actually want you here. I just have to invite everyone in elementary school. Don't think I didn't fucking forget about that shit, Jessica, from like third grade. I'm so mad about that. I've never gotten to use moon shoes. 
And I'm too big to use moon shoes anymore. They're not made for adults. And they don't even make them anymore. Where the fuck am I going to find moon shoes that fit my feet? Now I gotta check and see if they make adult moon shoes. Wow. A lot of child abuse in this episode. A lot of just beating the shit out of children. I thought his thing was like shadow powers, not like make you baby powers. He was an ugly ass kid. It's actually really incredible how his clothes almost still sort of fit him. Put two and two together. Wait, what the hell? It's Joe. What is your name? Do you think there are two freaks who dress like that in this world? Like, look at the earrings. What are the chances that there'd be... A, mm. That's interesting. That's a cool ability. Like, that it doesn't just make him a child, but also reverts his brain back to that so he doesn't remember shit. Like a classy gentleman does, sure. Why not just scream help? It doesn't matter if you're a child or not. In fact, that's actually a real benefit here. That guy with that hair... And he's, like, that close to a child. If the child starts screaming help, I'm going over there and decking the dude. I don't give a shit. Punch first, ask questions later when it comes to that kind of shit. Eventually, it's going to get me into trouble, but you know.
Did he punt him so hard that he's just like out of what? Oh, wow. Yeah, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's just like, you know what? Just shoot the dude. Props to this dude. Oh, okay. That's probably why you can't do that. But it's not a bad idea, you know? I mean, it would probably be better to just like, you know, knock them out and then do that. Maybe that's the strategy. Separate them, knock them out, execute them with the... <sighs> okay. Okay with this episode, sure. We'll just keep shooting then. Oh, okay. That is one hell of a fucking coat that he can put a full-size axe and a gun. Like, look at how tiny that shirt coat thing is. Everyone gets stabbed specifically right there. A lot of these stand users have no physical endurance. Like, they're just not used to getting hit. No, stay near an adult. Some guy attacked me. Say that much. Honestly, probably best to just... Yeah, it's not really a bad situation for you. And won't you turn into an adult if you're far enough away from him? Like, don't Stan's powers wear off if you're too far from them? So you could just walk out of the city as a child. Oof. Big oof in this episode, yeah. I feel like I know where this is going, and I, I feel like I don't like it. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo, what though? Yeah, no, this is... No, what the fuck is this?
Yo, what the fuck is this? Yo, what the fuck is this? Yo, what the fuck is this? Yo, what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Like, half the people probably skipped this episode, didn't they? Just like that fucking, like, ship episode. What the hell? What the fuck? What the fuck with this episode, though? Yo, the fuck? Yeah, the fuck? Yeah, this is another fucking, like, strength ship episode, isn't it? Nah. Nah, my dude. No, I totally- if- if this episode and the next one, which is the second part of this, have, like, no views, I'll fucking know why. Like, yeah, alright, fair enough. Episode 34 is Darby, so there you go. Um, <sighs> okay. What. The. Shit. I'll see you in the next one. If I don't, I understand. I gotcha. I get it. The fuck, though. The fuck.